so we are doing a voiceover right now. Um, these beach dominoes are in process. Um, okay, I'm showing you the tape. The way that I clean my molds is always with tape. It's much easier. You don't risk scratching them. Um, that is just resin mixed with pearl white mica powder and some titanium white acrylic paint just to make sure that it's really opaque and the other one is just plain clear resin and I mixed it about 10 minutes before I started this video so I um, am doing a voiceover because I am practicing safe resin practices I have my PPE on my mask um, windows opened this is the Chicagoland area so it's freezing so I have a separate heater running and a fan and it's just yeah you wouldn't be able to hear me anyway even if I didn't have a mask on so what I'm doing to get the wave look on the top of the domino is I put a line of white and you'll see it is way too thick in that one and I kind of fix it but the two that I do with a thicker line are my least favorite. Um, if you do a thicker line down by where you're going to have your like beachy area, it's a lot better. You don't want to do that like in the middle. Oh, there's my blower. I was going to try to blow it and then it wouldn't work. I think I got paint inside of it. So yeah, it's dead. But um, yeah, so I put that line of white and then I put the clear in front of it. And I'm going to put another line, like, more towards the back. So there's, like, another wave coming through. And, yeah, I will just end up pushing it into the clear. So that it, uh, kind of gets that movement. And when you're doing this, you don't want to, like, mix. Um, like I said, this resin was mixed, like, 15 minutes before I started this process. And... It, uh, it's still a little, you know, it's still liquid, but not as much as when you first start it. So, yeah, I'm just going to go through all of these. Here I am putting another line on the next one. And, um, I haven't done the second line yet, but you, you just want, like, the very bottom of your domino to have epoxy resin in it. You don't want like halfway full or anything because you just want to think about it that these waves you don't want like to see that clear distinction between the two and so then it, it looks much better trust me I've done this like nine times trying to get it right and right at that moment I'm like why did I just put all that in because one of the problems I've had in the past was putting too much white because then it just clouds up the whole domino. So I'm trying to save it there, which is what I'm doing. Moving those over. And I think that one thing that I didn't film, so I want to make sure I say it, because I'm going to cut this off soon so you guys don't have to listen to me blather on and watch me make lines. But see how thin those lines are? Those That's all you need. Um, and I do do a little bit thicker down by the beach area. So, yeah, the, um, oh, so what I didn't film was I went back, like, maybe an hour and a half to two hours later, and I just pulled my tool through that white just a little bit just to make sure there was some clear in that white because that is what's going to give you that look that like uh, a wave is coming through so here I am yep yep I'm like I gotta get that out of there I knew it was too much so yeah this is all you have to do to get a wave look on your domino and like I said make sure it's very shallow I think that um I did end up putting a little more white because it wasn't even like going from wall to wall on the domino and I did want it to do that because I was afraid that it would start spreading since it levels out and that the white and the um, clear would mix too much. So I did end up making sure that that whole bottom is full, but just barely. I mean, that line is, it is barely any resin in there at all. So yeah, just um, 
make sure you got your bottom covered and use your popsicle stick to drag. I think here I'm going to do it again. <laughs> let me let you see this before I shut it off again. Yeah, and see, I'm just kind of, and you want it to, you want to do that towards your, wherever your, whichever side is going to be your beach. Um, it's the opposite when you're doing one of these paintings. So you had to think about it is you're doing it looking upside down. You're, you know, you're, what you see when you flip it over is going to be totally different. And that was another problem I had when I did this was I pushed it the other way because when I'm painting or any of that I've seen people do like resin I've never done like a, a big resin beach project before and whenever I've seen them they always blow it away from the beach but with this because we're upside down basically you have to do it the opposite way so we'll stop here and uh, go on to the next step Okay, so this has been about four hours, I think, maybe five. Um, it's still tacky to the touch, but it won't really move. So as long as, I'm sorry if I keep sniffling too. Um, as long as it doesn't, it isn't going to mix with the next, you're good to go. Now I used Rolio um, pigments and this is just gold. Um, I know that's not exactly a beachy color, but I like it. So the different ones that I tried, those ended up um, looking the best with the gold. And um, you see in the picture when you click this video probably. And so I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it looks better with gold or should I have went more brown? Um, I like the gold. And you'll see my pizza box. I think I forgot to say this earlier. Um, it is like the best thing I ever did with resin if you have a mold that fits with the lid shut um, That's blue de France from Rolio. That's like my darker blue Anyway, the a friend of mine does resin. She doesn't do YouTube or anything like that and she's the one that told me about this uh, This little hack about putting it in here because you, you need to cover them up especially if you have animals and I have two rescue cats I call them the uh, rescue crew and yeah they're obsessed with anything they think they can't get on and so with this I can put them in here I have a, a higher table that I put them on that they can't manage to get to and it's all level so yeah once I'm done from here I can move them to the shelf to harden and out of the way and they're completely covered the only thing you want to make sure to do is I always take like baby wipes and wipe down the box I mean I, I get all the food and stuff out of it of course but um just to make sure that there hasn't anything dust or cat hair or my hair or whatever that none of it's got in the box so this is turquoise and this is another lesson that I learned while trying to make these dominoes. Um, I was going with like, uh, like a powder blue or a sky blue and that's not, and I don't know why I really don't. I mean, when I paint, I don't use sky blue in, in the water. I use turquoises and darker blues and, and whites to create the contrast. So yeah, for whatever reason, I kind of kept wondering why it just didn't look right. And that's why. Um, so this turquoise really upped the game of these dominoes. Um, you're going to see in a minute because I do like to add a dollop of acrylic paint even when I use pigments and only on the dominoes because you don't want to see the pips when you're playing. And I hope that, you know, he uses these and they actually play the game so if people can see what you have then you know that kind of defeats the purpose so yeah i i'll get a little thing of blue really quick here with my pajamas yeah i have like three things i wear when i'm doing resin because resin is on it is destroyed um 
yeah, this is Cerulean Blue from Liquitex, and you'll see, and it's almost gone there, but you'll see that I just put a little bitty dollop in there, and it's not much. Um, and then, oh lord, when I started stirring this turquoise, I remember I'm like, I just jacked this whole thing up. Because it started looking really blue, and I'm like, oh, I just messed it up. I don't have the turquoise that I need, but it ended up was one of the best things I did. Because I think that just with the way this pigment powder is, it would have, like, been too turquoisey. And even though here, like, with the camera and the way that I saw it, it looked like it was super, super turning blue. It didn't. It still had the turquoise to it. I think I just muted it a little bit. And that ended up being a really good idea. So, yeah, you just want to make sure that that paint, when you do add, you can't put a lot because it'll affect the cure of the epoxy. But if you put paint in it, Make sure you stir it in good because that was another lesson that I learned where I could have swore it was all mixed up and like I got to the bottom of the cup and there was all kinds of paint. And of course those didn't cure right. Oh, sorry, there goes my phone. Okay, so now I'm showing you... Um, I decided that I wanted to put something in. I didn't want to use sand. I wanted it to look um, rocky. So I got the, these are like, you know, those stones that you get to put in like succulent planters. That's what these are. They're the little stones and I kind of crushed them even smaller. And trust me, they're still too big. And this was a big waste of time. Um, yeah, it didn't, they didn't show, there were a couple of them that they showed, and it did look kind of cool, and I think that, that if I crushed these to where they were really small, and put a lot more in the corner, it would have looked really cool, and maybe not even used any paint. I did try to paint these, and it was an epic, I mean, epic disaster, so yeah, this part didn't go to plan at all, but it didn't hurt anything. And actually it just saved me some epoxy because it's taking up space and this stuff was way cheaper than epoxy, that's for sure. But yeah, I'll try to find one and put it in a uh, picture of it in the video at the end so that you can see what it ended up looking like. But yeah, I think that if I could crush these up for the next time, and so that they're smaller and maybe put a little more and I don't know maybe not even put the gold in maybe try to paint these again I had done like a brown and silver to give it you know that dimension because I want it to look like maybe there were some rocks and maybe there was a beach and yeah oh it was awful <laughs> it did not work at all so yeah let's just get through this part Okay, so I have all my little rocks laid down. Um, that was such a waste of time. Oh, learning experience, right? Hey, it'll be better next time. And I make these. I don't really, I don't sell them, but I give them um, to some rescues, and they sell them and make money. So, okay, here we go, people. So I'm just putting the gold like in the very corner. Um, as we go, I always end up putting more. I always have to go the extra mile when I should be sitting on the bench. But hey, that's me, right? So I think I was worried about like those rocks getting covered, those damn rocks. But um, yeah, so I, you start out putting your um, beach down. And yeah, there I go. See, I'm, I, I can just see it in my head where I'm going, oh, this is going to leave gaps because I'm worried about it covering it, even though I know that it self levels. But yeah, so then you go in with the turquoise. You want the turquoise closest to the beach. And then you do your darker blue in the back. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I filled these first I'll go through this amount 
and then I'll go do another layer. Now, I don't fill them all the way up, but pretty close because I was putting a name on the back of them. And so I knew I was going to end up doming. So I knew it didn't matter if it was completely full, but yeah, so you just go through and keep doing this until it is almost full, just with a little room for that uh, doming action after you put your sticker on. And if no sticker, then just fill it up all the way. Just go slow. So yeah, the blue really kind of uh, mixes in good with everything. So I have my first layer down here. I'm picking out the stupid rocks that I know won't, um, you know, make the cut. They're going to come out the bottom. So after I've done this, I can go back through and see how um, full my domino molds are. Because when I tried to just do this all at once and put all the colors in, like filled to the top, it got too muddied in the mold. So here I am, I have my little tool and I'm just creating some motion and I'm blending the blues together. I mean, as you can see, I'm not like really swirling, 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 but I am going in a back and forth motion just so they don't have like this line in them. And this is going to give you a lot of different effects where you'll have some that have more turquoise, some that have more blue. And you can also push your beach back if it's kind of went a little out of control. Um, and while you're doing this, you're really going to be able to tell how much resin is in your mold and you can add more. So... Um, that's what I'm doing here, the ones that I'm filling. As I'm pushing that resin around, I can tell there isn't a lot in the, in that particular domino. So I'm adding more. And yeah, you just kind of push it back and forth. You don't have to really do it a whole bunch, but you want to make sure you have that motion in there. And then after this, we're just going to let them set up. All right, it has been 24 hours. And let's see what we got. Not a pizza, that would be nice. We have some dominoes, get these out. Kind of ruined my box a little bit. Oh no, I'm gonna have to eat more pizza. All right, sit him to the side. And let's take a look at what we got. Okay. Oh, I didn't put those away yet. So, there are a couple where these little rock things I put in might be sticking up a little bit. But that's okay because I'm going to put a top coat over it. So, not too worried about it. Alright. Now let's see if they look like... A beach. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Ooh. I mean, I know they're not gonna. I mean, I made gold instead of brown. This is a abstract beach, but. You get that vibe, I get that vibe, that white with the white layer that I put. Yeah, it worked. It worked. I got clay dust on my... God, I need to clean. Pretty cool. Oh, he's mostly all turquoise. But that's okay, they're all going to be... They're all kind of like their own little, little works of art. Oh, that one, the thing kind of shows up. Yeah, so I'm not really seeing the, I think that to do this, you need to probably crumble, like, or you could use sand like they do in the paintings, 
um, you need to crumble it and not use the gold, just mix it with the clear. That one looks, that wave looks awesome. Ooh, I like that one too. Yeah, because you can't really, this isn't like it's something that you can control when you're painting a beach scene, or not painting, but, well, painting too, but when you're doing resin, you push the waves with heat, which I did try to do that, and I had to buy new molds. I didn't use heat heat, but I did use just like my regular um, em embossing gun, and I thought that it would be okay, and I thought wrong, man, it was a disaster. I, like, finally just stopped even trying to take them out of the mold. The mold was, like, completely melted. It was awful. But I did learn something. I learned not to do that, but I also learned that I didn't like the colors I was using. It, they look good, but this turquoise, I was using, like, a softer, just regular blue. And I think the turquoise is what makes it look more beachy. So, these are... Awesome. I lo oh, there we go. And I also did the dots yellow, but I'm thinking I don't want yellow. I think they, they stood out too much. I mean, you want them to stand out a little. Oh, here's a little rock. Yeah, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? I mean, the ones that you can see them in, they're cool, but. Oh, he's interesting. Yeah, some things that I've learned from this is a less, a little bit less white. And maybe do the drag through with it. Like, I don't know. Maybe after it sat for it. I mean, that the epoxy that I used, I, it came from a different project. So, I mean, it was already older. But I think maybe you do the pour with it. And then maybe two hours later, take your toothpick or your stick, you know, whatever, and drag it through. I am really happy with these, though. I think they look super cool. But we're not done, people. I mean, they're pretty clean. Pretty clean. But I have this sharp edge, so I'm going to have to go outside, sand that down. I also have his last name, Ryan, to put on the back. And then I'm going to dome. And I think... Then I might resin the top, too, to make them uh, shiny. Because this mold's dull, so they come out dull. Alright, what do you think? I think they're pretty, pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to decide how I'm going to paint my dots, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I decided to go with white. I think that this is so strong of a white that it's not going to get um, drowned out by the white that's in the actual domino. So I have Arteza markers. Just fill them in like that. Man, it's hard to tell where they are with this. Okay. And then I have a dotting tool because this little line is a gigantic pain in the butt. So I just got my paint lid so I don't pour out any paint. And I could just use this to fill it in. And then the other way that I was doing it is like you have to wipe, 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 wipe constant. 
miss if you're careful like it just wasn't you don't have to but it's okay so I will have to wipe this one but I won't have to do the next one hopefully so I want to get all these painted so they'll dry and we might even be able to finish them tomorrow that would be nice so I'm just gonna finish these all up There you have it. All right, we just need to let these dry and we'll be back to do something about this. See you in a little bit. Okay, people. So, we're getting ready to sand the backs of the dominoes. Now, See, there's like a slight ridge, which I wanted because I'm going to put a name on and dome it with um, UV resin. So by uh, roughing up this edge, it's going to help the UV resin to stick to the epoxy resin. Um, this is 400 grit sandpaper. I am outside. You do not want to do this in your house if you can help it at all. And I'm going to wet sand also. And I have a mask on, so... This uh, epoxy dust is nothing to mess with. So I have a little bowl of water. I'm just going to put a little water on my sandpaper. And what this is going to do is going to help keep the dust on the sandpaper. So you're just going to take your domino, set it down, and kind of go in a circular motion. Go up and down, side by side. you see the edge is not sharp anymore do a little bit more so I do want a little lip on there because I'm going to fill this in but I don't know if you can see one that hasn't been done you can see it's kind of irregular and this is uniform and nice so we'll just go to the next one You can see the water has changed that milky white color. See, that looks good. It doesn't take a lot. It's not a lot of work. I'll get him. He fell over. I'm really happy with how these turned out. So, yeah, that's all there is to it, to this step. So, I'm going to finish the other 20-some, and we'll be back to do the back. Okay, so we're all sanded. Everything's nice and even. We got like this little marking around it that'll help the um, UV resin stick to it. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, so this is the last name of the people that are getting this, Ryan. So this is just a vinyl sticker. So I'm going to take just a used popsicle stick. And I'm going to kind of burnish it so that it'll stick to the transfer tape. And I'll 
peel it back. And then kind of judge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to look good. Okay. And then we're going to press. Take my popsicle stick one more time. Kind of go over it to help it stick. And then slowly peel it back. So that it stays. See, doesn't that look nice? Very easy. And then I'll be back when these are all done. And we will um, be protecting this with UV resin. And then we just have one more step to um, protect our acrylic paint on this side. So we'll be back. Okay, guys. So... We have all our names on, they're sanded, and they're ready just to be sealed. I'm going to do batches of four. So let me get my mask on, because this stuff, I don't know, um, it smells nasty. I just, I did smell it. Um, so I've never used UV before. I've always used regular resin, which is gloves, long sleeves, all the things. So I'm doing that with this too because I'm not going to take any chances. So, all right, let me get ready. Okay, so yeah, I did the first one not in the frame. Voiceover Kelly here again. So what I've learned with this UV resin, a little goes a long way. You don't want to, it's better to have not enough than too much because you can always add more. So I just put a... Uh, a line to fill that middle cavity because that's where it's kind of um, bowing and yeah you just I just use a toothpick to pull to the side so that it comes to the edge I didn't really have any problems at all with spillage um, the only thing that I did have was it seemed like it took forever under the UV light so I don't know I bought like the strongest one that was recommended so I'm not sure why um, I thought this would be like a big time saver for me and it most definitely wasn't because I ended up doing like each batch under that light for like 15 minutes or some 10 minutes and then I also put it back in their little pizza box and open the lid and put it in a window um, for the sun to finish because some of them were still just a little bit sticky so yeah I don't know how I feel about this UV resin um, if you all have problems with this you know or know the solution let me know in the comments because like I said I had never done this before and it was just something that I thought could save me like 24 hours of waiting for a top coat and you know putting the latex on and all the different things you do to you know make sure your stuff doesn't get wrecked when you do doming with the regular resin um, and also from now on I have learned that I'm gonna do this while they're still in the mold um, I did not have the names when they were first ready and I just couldn't wait I mean I had to see them I've tried this so many times and I wanted to know if it worked, so I took them out of the mold. But yeah, that, what I would recommend most definitely is to just leave them in the mold, use regular resin, let them cure, and, you know, just fill them, you know, dome them in the mold. I don't think that there should, I made them before where I really didn't have to touch the back. So, yeah, that's what I'll do next time. But hey, this works too if you need to. Okay, so we are outside for this next portion. Mod Podge Gloss uh, Clear Acrylic Sealer. 
shake it for a minute. I've already shook it. And this is really quick and really efficient to seal your dominoes. Um, it's freezing out here. You do a little test spray just to get a feel for how fast it comes out. You should wear a mask. I'm doing this quick and I'm going right back in. So it's just, it's this quick. You ready? And we're done. And we finally come to the end. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? Here's one with one of those rocks. Too big. I think if they were small, it could really, really be cool. I really like this one. Um, the next time I do this, this one turned out awesome. The next time I do this, there's going to be a lot less beach. A lot more domino. Or, I'm sorry, a lot more blue. But yeah, that is so cool. And I think, I think, and the backs turned out really well. Um, I think the next time I will not put the pearlescent type stuff in. And I'll keep that white, just an opaque white. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you stayed around this long... You deserve a medal. I know this was a long video, but there are just so many things that I learned while doing this. I wanted to share so that if you decide you want to try something like this, you don't have to go through 9,000 steps like I did and maybe get it right the first time. But I think that you're just always learning and always um, making things better. So... I'm kind of excited to make these again because I really do have a lot of other ideas I want to try, especially with the beach part, to be able to tame it a little bit, tame myself, really, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like it, like the video, leave a comment, I would love that. And I'd really like it if you would subscribe. Um, I have lots of ideas and weird things that this brain of mine comes up with. So, yeah, if you, uh, if you could subscribe, hit the alert button, little bell, you'll be notified when I try these crazy things. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I know that you might watch this not at the same time, but if you're watching it lately, have a happy and safe holiday. And here's to next year, returning to normal. So thank you.